Welcome back to my channel everyone. In today's video we are going to be doing a red bow. I'm going to teach you how to make a nice big bow. If you guys don't know or if you're watching this a lot not right when this thing is going on or this video is uploaded. Um, right now we're in the coronavirus pandemic or COVID-19 pandemic and a red bow if you put it on your tree or your mailbox or somewhere in the front of your house it's a sign of thank you and like respect towards all the essential workers and like the healthcare workers that are right now helping us get back to normal so we're gonna make a red bow for our mailbox at my house so i thought we'd just come on here and i'd show you um since i know one thing that i was really bad at when i started making wreaths was making bows it was kind of hard so i'm gonna teach you how i'm gonna make a bow we got a couple different things we're gonna use i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna all use for what I have. I got some of this ribbon. It's a Christmas ribbon, but you know, red thread. So we got some of this bigger stuff, which I don't think we're gonna use this big stuff. I think I'm just gonna use like this skinnier stuff. So I got some of that. I got another thing of big, but I don't know if I'm gonna use that. I got some of this sparkly um, 2.5 inch red. I got some of this like plain red. It's missing the other side, but it's another 2.5. I got some cut up ribbon. This is just extra scraps that I had, so we might add this in somehow. We'll see. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I was also gonna. I thought about maybe adding some of this uh, mesh tubing. I feel like that would look kind of cool. So, yeah. But um, another thing we have is some two pipe cleaners, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross them like this, and we're gonna tie them together because we need something a lot strong, a lot longer in order to tie this onto our mailbox, which I think that's what we're going to tie it onto. So yeah, we need to have a bigger thing. So what I do is just tie two of them together. We might need to make it bigger, but we'll see at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some of this red. We're going to measure out about a 12 inch loop. I don't know. I think I guess we could have tails. We're going to come in with like a 15 inch tail, I think. And then we'll come in with like about a 12 inch or a 6 inch loop. I'm not really worried about perfection on this since it's not really, it's going to be going outside. So I kind of, doesn't need to be perfected, but it still needs to look nice. So I think what we're going to do for this one is just going to do the one with the method the t with the multiple tails. So I just cut this off here. So you, as you can see, you don't need to pinch it real hard. If you pinch it real hard, you're just gonna give yourself a sore thumb or cramps. All I'm doing is lightly touching it. And as you see, right now I'm starting with my two fingers, my thumb and my next finger, my pointer finger. But once we start making our bow, it's gonna slowly move towards our palm of our hand because our loops are gonna get bigger. So yeah, so that's what I started with. So then I'm gonna come in with another Maybe we'll do a 12 inch tail for this one. And we'll come in with like a, uh, another 12 inch or a six inch loop. I don't know how much of this ribbon I have left. There's not much, so we'll see. And then oh, again, I'm gonna cut it and make another tail. So there's that. As you can see, it's starting to move towards my other hand, towards my hand. I'm gonna use some of this sparklier red. I didn't. I was looking through my stash of mesh, and I don't have too much red or stash of ribbon. I don't have too much red ribbon. I used a lot of it for Christmas last year. Now we'll come in maybe with a 10-inch tail, going this way this time, and we'll get the tails going down this way. Maybe we'll do about a another 12 inch loop or it's going to be 12 measure out 12 inches but it'll actually the 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 loop will actually be six inches because you're going to roll it in half okay and then i'm going to cut off the ribbon making another tail then i think i'm going to come in with some more of um this ribbon so basically this is not going to be like a perfectible formal bow. It's going to be more of like a, a crazy bow. 
Maybe we'll come in with a 15 inch tail for this one. Oh, actually, no, we're not gonna come in with a 15 inch tail because I don't have too much of this left. Maybe we'll come in like a, a nine inch tail and I think we're gonna have to do about a an eight inch loop. It's gonna have to be a little bit smaller. And I think that's that's all we're gonna get out of this guy. So yeah, this is a great way just to use up some scraps and also show appreciation to the essential workers right now because they're working their butts off to keep us safe. So another four inch and then we have another little tail. So as you can see right now, my hand, it's moving towards my hand a lot more. We're gonna come in with another one. We'll do about a, I don't know, a 10 inch tail for this one. I'll do up this time. And we'll go like this. As you can see, I just switch back and forth, top of my hand, down, bottom of my hand, the whole way through. We'll do a 10 inch loop for this guy. So it'd be a five inch loop, 10 inch, a measure of 10 inches. Okay. And then cut another tail. You don't have to do this method if you don't want to. This is, an, I have some other methods on if you go on to my like wreath videos, um, some of my wreaths, I use different bows. I use different bows for a lot of my different wreaths. So I think we're gonna come in with one more of this sparkly one, the sparkly mesh, and then we'll try it. Then we'll come in with some of that other cut off mesh already. I think we'll come in with a nine inch tail this way and bring it down. I'm gonna come in with a Come in with a about a nine inch loop this time, and then we'll do another nine inch loop and cut it off. We don't have too much of this ribbon left, so maybe we'll just tie it in somewhere. We only have about that much. We'll see. Okay, so now what I want to do is probably come in with some of these guys and just I'm gonna probably I don't know. We'll see how we can do this. Well, actually, we gotta fold it the other way. I don't. I never added ribbon like this, but I thought maybe adding a little bit of something into your bow will look kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see. But I had these cut. I cut these for something, and then they were too short. Once I got, once I figured it out at the end, and I was like, nope, can't use that. So now I'm it's as you can see it's moved all the way into my hand. But I think this might look pretty cool. I don't know, we'll see. I think we'll come in with the the mesh tubing at the way end. I think maybe even after we have done the rest of our we'll see. Okay, so I got those guys in. So now we're gonna come in with our pipe cleaner from the front all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna tie it off. There's a lot of red in this ribbon or in this mesh, which is really cool. And it's got, I like the, the look of all these little, these little guys coming out. So now before I, um, finish it. Actually, one second, I think I'm gonna have a some of this open already. I forgot I had a container of this stuff. I actually have some red open, so before I take use that other stuff, I'm going to try to use this stuff up. And you can actually get this stuff at the dollar store. I know they have it. Um, they have some over by like their floral right now um, and stuff, but they're really sm you get a very small amount. This red came when the Christmas time was up going on. I know they had some for Easter this year. And I actually got it. I think I got one for fifty. I think I got some of this. I got some of this yellow this year for 50% off, so 50 cents. And you can use it in all different things. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. And 
and I'm just going to come in here and go around the bow and tie it off, as you guys can see. And that just brings it in a little bit of different texture and makes it a little bit more funky. I think it looks pretty cool. You can, you can always add this in, or you don't have to add this in. You could add it in a different way if you wanted. Maybe you want to go like this. That's even kind of cool with the different bows, with a bow in the middle. As, I'm, as I said before, I'm just going in and kind of just making a pretty just... I had no plan on how I was going to do this. I just said I got, got out my red ribbon, and I thought... Why not just make uh, a bow, or a bow, yeah, a red bow, to show some appreciation. So comment down below, did you put a red bow up? If, maybe you might be watching this years from now and this pandemic isn't going on anymore, but if you could remember, let me know. Um, and if you want, I'll, I'll leave my email down in the, in the description of this video. If you want, you can always send me a picture if you made a bow. I'd love to see what your bow looked like. I like to see any of your guys' creations. Maybe, even if, maybe, and if you guys ever make a wreath, and you're, and you're subscribed to my channel, or even if you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to see what your creation was. And let me know if I gave you any inspiration. I love to inspire you to create something on your own. So if I gave you any hint, tips or anything, or any of my tips that I have in some live tutorials helped you, let me know. That way I know that what I'm teaching is actually useful for you guys. So yeah, go down in my, um, I'll have, I'll, I'll leave it in the description box, my email. And then if you guys want, you can always go and check and, uh, follow my Facebook page. Sometimes I don't post, uh, I don't act, I decided that I don't actually like the bow in the center. It just didn't fit right, so I think I'm going to take that guy out. And I think I have enough of this mesh tubing in there. But you can do with what you guys want. But no, I think um, if you guys want, I would love for you guys to go and follow my Facebook page. It's right, I'll leave it in the description box. It's just MV Crafts, and then I think there's a couple of different ones that pop up. It's just the one with the watermelon wreath. You'll see it. It's a watermelon. It's a nice, beautiful watermelon wreath that I created. I don't think I did a video on it. But, yeah. So, go check that out. And follow it. Because sometimes I do videos. Or sometimes I make wreaths. But I don't always make a video on it. So, if you want to see any of my other creations. And then that's where I'll, that's where I'll be doing, like posting when I, once I get my Etsy shop, and if you guys, um, have watched my other videos, you guys know that I've been waiting to buy a laptop, and I actually just, or I just ordered my MacBook, so once that gets here, I'll be able to, I'll have to get my printer start, um, fixed, because our printer is broken right now, but once I get that fixed, I'll be able to start my Etsy shop, you guys, so then I'll be able to start shipping my Reese all over the world. So that's going to be very exciting. I'm very excited about that. I've been waiting for... I finally, it was just like last night, I said to my parents, I said, I need to order my... I need to order my MacBook. I've waited a long time. So yes, what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of... It's not going to look perfect. It's not going to be like a... Wow, that's like perfect even loops and that's not what the look I'm going for in this wreath at all. This wreath is more of a just funky, different loops, different sizes, different size um, loops and different size tails. So let me know what you're kind of, do you like more of a formal, like unique or like a, not unique, but formal even perfect bow or do you like making a bow like this where you got different tails going in different directions and you got different size tails different size loops 
different textures in your wreath. It depends on the wreath. If I'm working with more of a formal spring wreath, I'd probably go with more of a formal, but if I'm going patriotic, I'll probably go like this, or if I'm working with like a Christmas, I'll probably get into more of a whimsical type of a Christmas wreath. Um, and with the different with the different bows. But yes, it depends on the wreath, whatever I'm making. And if I have a custom order, I'll ask them. If they say I want a bow, I always ask, do you want a funky bow with the different tails, or would you like it more formal with the same loops? I actually just created a, maybe I'll show you guys at the end of this video if I remember, but I actually just got done creating a um, uh, swag. It turned out so cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come in here and I'm going to just do a couple different dovetails or maybe corner cuts just to bring in some different texture for this. They're not all going to be dovetailed. You could also, um, if you want, you could also go in and make a little bit longer tails and curl it, curl them up. That's what I actually did for my swag that I'll show you guys after this. I'm done making this. It turned out so cool. It took me a little longer than I expected, but I also was just sit I was also just sitting and watching some videos, taking my time. Sometimes I'll do that or sometimes I'll be like, I need to get this thing done, so I'm gonna just sit here and focus and I can get it done in less than an hour, but sometimes I'm like, what else do I have to do? I have nothing to do, so I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to make it, and it might take me two hours. But it all depends. It's sometimes sometimes I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want to sit here and um, watch or take this long on a wreath or a swag or whatever I'm making. So as you guys can see, I'm actually just uh, cutting them different. As you can see, this one I did just like a, a simple cut like this and then this one I did like a dovetail so I'm just doing all different just to bring in some different funkiness I don't always dovetail or do any of my ends um, mess around with all my ends. Some ends I will just go in with more of a simple, just leave them straight. If I go in with like a, if I'm doing like a farmhouse, like a rustic farmhouse, usually I actually go in and I do, I leave it or I fray the ends. Sometimes that's a fun thing to do, is fray the ends of your ribbon and it really looks farmy, farmhouse. So yeah, you can do it with, you can do multiple different things when you're, with your ribbon tails. It all depends on your liking and or if what that what kind of wreath you're making if you're um, going for more of a if I like to do them on more like the the cheery holidays but if I'm making like like I did a hunting custom on hunting wreath I didn't um mess around I just left the bow the loops the same perfectly fine because hunting is more like laid back it's not funky and it doesn't need like a funky uh, ribbon tailed bow. I just think it would have offset it and it wouldn't have looked the greatest if I would have done that. But yeah, you guys, look at how crazy and awesome this bow looks. I think this guy needs to go up behind here. I think this needs to come in front of it. It's a little long, but I think I might actually cut this off a little bit lo short, shorter. I was probably planning on it to go down to the bottom, but it didn't end up that way, but I'll just cut it a little shorter and let him, let him just hang. But yes, I think it looks cool with the the different, uh, this like, this little bun stuff coming out of it. I think that brings a little bit of texture into it. And just adding these little ribbon tails right here that I added at the end that I already had on spare just brought some more texture into it and brought it a little bit more fun, funness to it. But yes, you could go different ways for this. You could make it more simple. You could go in with just two ribbons and just do uh, like an eight loop 
on the front and a loop on the in the in the back. Or you could go like this, or you could just you could do many different ways. This guy I forgot to do, so we'll just do a simple half cut. But yeah guys, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll actually I just wanted to do more of a simple how long is this video been? Oh my god, it's only been 20 minutes. I've been making this bow for 20 minutes. Jeez. Doesn't feel like I've been doing it for 20 minutes, but obviously it has been more than 20 minutes. Or more than... I thought it was only in here. I feel like it's been like 10. Well, it was a fun little video to do. It's a lot shorter than my normal Reese tutorials, that's for sure, so... Um, yes, so that's a little bow tutorial, and it is perfect for the, what's going on right now. So yeah, like I said, let me know down below, um, if you guys put a bow on your front mailbox, your, a tree, or a flagpole, or, uh, to, for the thing, I, I didn't really know about it, and then I started seeing them on some other channels, so I decided, why don't I come on and make a bow quick? And I think it turned out pretty cool. So I'm probably going to have to put another pipe cleaner on the back because it's going to go around. I think I'm going to put it around our mailbox because we have a big tree in the front, but I'm going to need, if I did that, that tree, I bet you would, I don't know. I would need like 20 of these twist ties and maybe more than that. So yeah. Or we also have a, I remember we just, we have a electrical post, but I don't, I think it's going to look good on our mailbox because like we have a little post that comes up from our mailbox so yeah i'll put this up there tomorrow and maybe i'll take a picture and post it on my i'll take a post a picture and post it on my facebook page so if you want to see what it looks like on my facebook page you got to go on over there and check it out and give it a like and maybe consider following so you guys can see some of my other creations but i'll leave that in my description box below for you guys but yes i'm gonna actually i think i'm gonna quick show you guys I take you down from the tripod and we're gonna quick run over to the um the wreath. So sorry, excuse my cat stuff, but yeah, this is the um swag, not wreath, that I made. So for this one, yeah, as you can see, I twisted the ribbons. I didn't do a video on this because I did a video on my last one, and I didn't think I needed to make another one, but this one's more of a simple. I didn't come in with any I had some big flowers, but I decided that just adding some of these white guys and some of these purple filler and some of this left over and I got this from a little a little arrangement but yes so I just this is just one of those greenery swags that you can teardrop swags that you can buy I got this one at the wreath shop and then as I can said that's like a more of a formal bow it's not funky with all different loops hanging out I need to fix some of these a little bit but yeah so um guys yes like I said um, let me know, know in the comments below and check out my Facebook page to see what it looks like on the mailbox. But till then, you guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a video. Until then, you guys, goodbye.